Today's video is going to be on a West Clock clock, and we're going to talk about installing and removing the balance wheel. So let me get this set up here where I can do this hands free. <clears throat> okay. The first thing to do is to make sure that the mainspring is let down. And this is, see how free that moves. Now we're going to pull the um, taper pin out. And these particular clocks use a flat wedge type of taper pin. Next we'll back the um, hairspring out of the regulator and the um, uh, stud there and this is a little tricky sometimes wind the uh, hairspring up a little bit like that by turning the balance wheel in the direction it would wind it and then tease the end of the hairspring out of the end of the regulator there Once it's out, you can remove the balance wheel. And I do this by holding the balance wheel with a finger and backing off one of the screws. And I pick the screw that doesn't have the um, the uh, friction adjustment for the regulator. So in this case, I'm going to hold the balance wheel like this and keep it lightly pressed into the bottom pivot there. And then take the screw and back the screw out just enough until I can get the balance wheel out. And I'm going to take it out like this. Now, to further work on the balance wheel, what we'll do is take and set this on a hard surface. To do that, I'm just going to use this the surface of the desktop here. It's hard enough, and it's not so hard that it's going to damage the pivots of the. Use a pair of pliers with some flat jaws. and remove the hairspring from the balance wheel like so. <clears throat> and then there's the hairspring removed. Now with the hairspring removed you can clean the balance wheel, you can clean the hairspring, you can um, check the pivots on the balance wheel and make sure they're nice and sharp and concentric. They shouldn't be too sharp um, somewhere in some old book I read that you you polish the the pivots and take any any um, wear off of them and then you uh, dull them slightly by tapping them against a hard surface to dull them slightly. You don't want them too sharp or else they will cut into the um, cups that they rotate in, but the ends should be pretty concentric. and they should be nice and even. There shouldn't be any worn spots or else the clock will not run right in um, the various positions. Generally the way these things sit, they, they sit like this and so they'll have spots worn in them from sitting like that and you'll have to polish those spots out. That'd be the reason why a clock might run really good dial up but putting it in the upright position it will barely want to run. Okay, <clears throat> now we want to reassemble the um, the clock. The first thing we need to do is to put the hairspring back on the balance staff. And I do that by using the pliers again. 
make sure you have them on the uh, collet and press the collet back on to about the right position and use a great deal of care that you don't um, allow the pliers to slip and damage the hairspring and you don't want to do that that's a uh, will give you bad clock working mojo but um, and it will fit a little on the tight side um, I'm just pressing on it right now what I really need to be doing is using a very small hammer like a tack hammer or something and um, to, sn to tap it back down into position Oops. to get it back in about this position where it needs to go which I've done, just done that off camera it still needs to go in there a little further and you can use the um, the movement there to determine if you have it in the right spot or not. At this point I'm not paying attention to the end of the hairspring to determine where the end of the hairspring is relative to the impulse pin. That will come in a moment. I am just at the moment I am trying to get the um, uh, hairspring back on to the um, balance wheel in the right spot and uh, if that looks about right looks like it's going to be about centered so there is a a slot in this collet here bring this into focus you see the slot so what we'll do is once the balance wheel is back in the clock we'll take a small screwdriver and place in that slot and rotate the collet left or right to get the end of the hairspring in the right position relative to the um, uh, impulse pin this is the impulse pin right here and it's a good idea to have a a couple different types of screwdriver that will work. And on this this instance, it, the the really the right place to put the screwdriver on this one is down in there, like that, where the collet sticks out to the side of the hairspring. And take the um, the movement here and get ready. This is the lever right here and the lever has a fork and on either side of the fork slot are the safety horns and that keeps the lever from moving out of position when um, the clock is running and we'll take the hairspring and we'll put it in balance wheel assembly and put it back in like so and we want to make sure that with the impulse pin not pointing at the lever, that the lever is centered on the uh, balance staff over one of the safety horns. And then very carefully tighten the screw back down the cup screw see I have the balance wheel caught now so I can turn it down I'm going to keep turning until see the balance wheel still loose and I'm actually going to back that off just a hair and go back to the other side and tighten this one up just a little bit because this is loose so I'm going to snug that up just a little okay so that's 
that's tighter now like it needs to be. Now I'm going to go back to this side and you see the balance is still loose. I'm going to snug this down just enough that the balance wheel is just tight. You'll know that it's just tight when you can't flick it and it doesn't, doesn't move on its own. So there it's just tight, okay? See, it doesn't try to move or coast or anywhere. It stays right there. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to back it off one quarter of a turn. So now I have the right amount of end shake and the balance is just loose enough. So now I'm, we're going to take a look at where my banking pin is and if I did everything correctly when I turn this around it's going to go right back into the slot like that. Okay. Now you see the end of the hairspring there? So let's turn that to where the uh, impulse pin is pointing directly at the uh, escape wheel arbor and gently sort of tease the hairspring a little bit and it looks like we have it in about the right spot. You see it you're just a little bit sticking past the stud there. So now we'll go ahead and turn the balance wheel back until we get the end of the hairspring to where we can turn it around and get it started in the um, regulating lever there and using a small screwdriver or something we'll, we'll get to where it's going to line up with the um, um, with the regulator. What I usually do is put a little bit of this is hard to do with the camera in the way not able to hold this like I want to hold it. What I'll do is I'll I'll rotate the balance wheel to put a little bit of tension on the hairspring pressing against the um, the regulator there like it is currently and then I'll try to get the hairspring to um, drop into the uh, hole of the regulator so now it's pressing against the edge of the regulator and this is easier done holding the clock moving up in front of me than it is sitting there in front of the camera. We'll use a small screwdriver or some other similar instrument and push the hairspring down to where it goes into the, the slot of the regulator and then keep turning it on around and do the same thing on the stud. There it is where it will go into the stud. I'm going to push it. So now the hairspring is in the stud. Now I'm ready to to pin the hairspring once the bead is set. So I'm going to rotate this back around like so. You see now there's actually quite a bit more of the hairspring sticking out the end of the um, uh, end of the stud than there needs to be. It's going to run very fast even with the regulator at the full flow position. So what I'm going to need to do is find the slot in the collet there and using a suitable small screwdriver using a small screwdriver in the slot of that collet, hold the collet stationary and rotate the balance wheel to reposition the end of the hairspring where it needs to be. And this is really easy to do if you take and rest the hair, the uh, end of the screwdriver against the pillar here and then engage the end of the slot in the collet like, like so and then hold it stationary and rotate the balance wheel. And then you can see how far, how, how, um, how, how, what, um, if you went too far, if you didn't go far enough. It looks like in this case I went a little too far. 
So we'll go back the opposite direction there. And sorry if that's not in frame. My setup isn't very optimal. Uh, okay, I like the way that is right now. Okay, and I'm holding holding the balance wheel where it would need to be if the clock was in beat. And now I'm ready to pin the end of the hairspring. Okay. I'm gonna do this very carefully here. Hold the balance wheel where I want it. When you go to push the the taper pin in, it's gonna move the hairspring down a little bit, so it's a good idea to have the balance wheel to the side just a little like this. Do this again. Might take another try. This is kind of awkward reaching around this uh, uh, camera, so let me just pick this up and do this off screen. Okay, so I'm back, and what I did here, as you can see, is I um, took a little bit of time because I was holding the movement up close to me where I was comfortable to do it, not reaching around a camera, and I got the hairspring pinned, and you see I, I went through some effort to get it pinned nice and flat, like it is here, and it looks like it's pretty close to being in B, it looks like it's just maybe a little bit off. And what we can do to solve that problem is, is use a screwdriver in the slot of the collet to get it perfectly in beat, like I was doing earlier, getting the length just right. And if you're a really anal type of person, like I'm not quite, if you wanted to adjust the clock to keep perfect time, with the regulator in the uh, middle, exact middle position, this is how you would do it. You would um, you would figure out where the end of the hairspring needs to be to do that, and then you can adjust the collet on the arbor there to get the beat set, and um, it would be it would be right. And we can look here, and I don't know how well this is going to pick up on the camera. But that looks like it's pretty close to being in beat there. The the pin there, the impulse pin, is pointing directly at the escapement arbor. So if I wind this up, it should, if everything is right, it should start up on its own. So let me install the winding key. Okay, look at that. I didn't, you know, flick it or anything, and it started right up on its own. So that's how you remove and install the balance wheel on a West Clocks. I demonstrated this on a West Clocks America movement. Um, the Big Ben lateral arm movements are exactly identical. They use the exact same identical balance wheel and hairspring assembly and taper pin. In fact, all the escapement parts are identical on that particular clock and this one and the sleep meter clocks all use the same escapement parts as well um, if I have enough storage space on this camera before I upload these videos I'll try to do a little video on lubrication it was also requested I do a video on removing and installing the mainspring in the in this clock which is the same as a, um, a Big Ben 
Um, I don't know that's entirely necessary because it's I do the exact same thing as I would do on the uh, baby bend movement. Um, it's a little bit easier on one of these because the mainspring is larger and um, it's a little easier to hang on to and wind in and out. It's not so big that it starts becoming difficult like it would be on a larger on a larger clock, but um, these are these are real easy springs to wind in and out. So I'd like to do another video on lubrication. So I know this video was longer than I like to make them, but I think it was worthwhile. Sorry if I didn't get to show everything on screen, but. Um, That's what your end result should be. If you take the balance wheel out and put it back in, you should you should end up with this at the end. So, thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more clock videos as well as everything else that transpires on this channel. I uh, will see you next time.